Morning guys. Well, it's another day out there. Um, not as bright and sunny that I can see out the window. A wee bit on the grey side. Um, but it's a, it's a day, it's weather. And a bit like all the things we're finding out we can, can't control at the moment. We can't control the weather either, can we? Um, I thought we'd do a body scan today. Um, when we're teaching, we call this uh, compassionate body awareness meditation. Um, but if you want to go off and look for others on YouTube and different things, there's some really good ones by John Kabat-Zinn, one of the founding fathers of mindfulness. Sorry, I'm getting comfortable. That's it. That's better. So, yeah, so I thought we'd do a body scan this morning. So um, this is quite a good meditation to do laying down if you can. So if you want to take a moment or two to get yourself comfortable um, and lay down if you can. You can do it sitting in a chair as well. It can be deeply relaxing, so just make sure if you are sitting in the chair, uh, you're well propped up in case you fall off. <laughs> we did have someone nearly fall off a chair once, which was quite amusing for the rest of the group anyway. <laughs> so get yourselves comfy. And allow your eyes to close or hold a soft focus, whatever feels right for you in this moment. And let the sound of the bell travel to you. And as the sound of the bell fades into the distance, just take a few moments to make sure that you are comfortable, changing your position if you need to. And again, if you need to change your position throughout the meditation to maintain that comfort, then please do. And then taking three extended out breaths, breathing all the way to the end of the out breath, three times. And then just let your breathing go back to its own natural rhythm and rate. Knowing that our senses remain active as they are designed to do. So you may notice things like light, sound, temperature, the feel of the surface beneath you. And then just gently bring your awareness to the feeling of the breath within the body. 
trying to change it, just noticing it. Noticing how the breath feels in the front of the body, both in the chest and down into the abdomen. Noticing how the breath feels in the sides of the body as the ribs expand and contract with each breath. Noticing the breath in the back of the body. And then with that same gentle awareness that you've had on the breath, move your attention down to your toes. What sensations do you notice in your toes right now? Not trying to change anything, just simply noticing your toes. And if there are no sensations present, just noticing that. Expanding your awareness to the tops of your feet, the soles of your feet and your heels. What sensations do you notice here as we gently sit here resting? Expanding that awareness to your ankles. And to the lower legs. Noticing what's happening on the surface of the skin, but down into the tissue and the muscle and the sinew. What sensations do you notice here? Expanding your awareness to your knees. Not thinking about the knees as such, just, just exploring what's here. Expanding the awareness again to the tops of the legs, to the thighs, those big powerful muscles that powers around throughout the day. What do you notice here as we gently let ourselves over to the feeling of gravity beneath us?
expanding the awareness to the hips, the left hip and the right hip. And what do you notice here? And then imagining that the in-breath can travel all the way down through the hips into the legs, right down to the tips of your toes. Bringing with it all that your body needs. And that the out-breath is a letting go of all that's no longer required. You're breathing in all the way down to the tips of your toes. And then just breathing out and letting go of all that our legs no longer require. And playing with that sensation for a few breaths if you choose. And then taking a deeper, more intentional in-breath. And on the out-breath, letting go of the legs and the hips. Moving the attention to the pelvis and the organs held within. You can imagine the in-breath travelling into the pelvis and bathing all those organs held within. And then on an out-breath, Letting go of the pelvis, moving the attention to the lower back, an area we can often hold tension. What sensations do you notice here as we sit or lie here resting? Expanding the awareness to the middle of the back. And the upper back, including the shoulder blades. What sensations do you notice here as we hold the whole of our back in our awareness? And then taking a deeper, more intentional in-breath. And on the out-breath, letting go of the back. And moving the attention to the lower abdomen and the stomach. What sensations do you notice here? And if the mind becomes distracted and wanders off, you're doing nothing wrong, it's what minds do. And actually the moment you notice is a wonderful moment of mindfulness because you've noticed. 
So you simply notice where the mind has gone. Come back to the feeling of the breath within the body. And back to the part of the body which we're focusing on, which in this moment is the lower abdomen. And then on an out breath, letting go of the lower abdomen and stomach, moving the attention to the chest, to the lungs and the heart, the great vessels held within. What sensations do you notice here in this moment? And on an out breath, Letting go of the chest and the lungs and the heart. And moving the attention to the shoulders. To the right shoulder and the left shoulder. What sensations do you notice here? Expanding the awareness to the upper arms, to the elbows, to the lower arms, the wrists, the backs of your hands. palms of your hands, your thumbs and your fingers all the way down to the fingertips until you are holding the whole of your arms and hands in your awareness. And then imagining that the in-breath can travel all the way down the arms, right to the tips of the fingers, bringing all that our body needs. And the out-breath are letting go. And then on an out breath, letting go of the arms and moving the attention to the neck and to the throat. Again, areas we can often hold tension. What do you notice here? Expanding the awareness to the jaw, to the teeth, the gums, the tongue, to 
to the lips. To the nose. To the cheeks. To your ears. To your eyes. To your eyelids. To your eyebrows. To a little gap between your eyebrows. To the forehead, where your attention can often show to the world. the scalp, to the top of your head, until you are holding the whole of your head in your awareness. And then imagining that the in-breath can travel up through the nose, across the back of the face, and fill the mind, and fill the head with that nurturing, nurturing, caring breath. And the out breath is a letting go and a calming down. and expanding the awareness to the whole of the body sitting here in this moment. And if you have noticed any areas of tension, allowing them to soften and calm. Breathing in, calming body and mind. Breathing out, calming body and mind. Allowing it all to just settle and calm. And when this practice comes to a close in a few moments, knowing these feelings of calmness and of stillness are always available to you. You just have to simply pay attention and breathe. Perhaps allowing yourself a little sense of gratitude that you've taken time out of your day to care for yourself in this way. We are only human after all. Perfectly imperfect. Expanding your awareness to the environment that surrounds you. Opening to sounds both near and far.
I know part of the thing about mindfulness is um, not having preference, just accepting the moment's moment experiences just as they are. Well, that was rather lovely. <laughs> and it always surprises me that when I do um, a body awareness meditation, that the aches and pains I think I've got, when I actually go and pay attention, they're not normally where I think they are. Um, I've had a few problems with my back over the last few days and I've really thought, I was going to spend most of my time focusing on my back, but actually I've got more, much more aches and pains in my shoulders um, and in the upper arms uh, than I have in the bottom of my back and I hadn't noticed. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting one. Right, well I hadn't realised with all this, you know, not sure what day of the week it is kind of vibe that's going on at the moment that actually um, we're coming into a bank holiday weekend. I think it's Thursday today. So tomorrow's Good Friday, I think. Um, so in which case, I will see you on Tuesday, um, trying to keep some kind of normal structure. Um, I shall be mainly staying in. <laughs> I might be going to, to the garden, but that's about as far as I'm going to be going over this bank holiday weekend. Um, just let you know, Gary will be doing a gong bath um, on this channel Friday evening. Um, I think that's at 8 o'clock, uh, but we will put a little note up just to let you know and onto Facebook as well, just as a bit of a reminder. So take good care, guys. Um, have a good Easter. Be with the ones that you can be with miss the ones you can't be with and um yeah take it easy um see you friday take good care